Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Breaking It Down with Brooke, and I'm hitting you with another story time. It's about the time I got high for the first time. I was about, for real, for real, at 12, I took my first couple drags, but when I really got high, I was like 14, 15 years old. All right, so I was with my brothers, okay? So I was with people that I can trust, and thank God I was with people I can trust, right? Because I'm chilling with my brother. This is the time we live in Queens, and if anybody know, farmers, um, and like 141st Avenue, areas like that, right? So it's nothing but houses, and all our friends lived in houses, whatever. And my brother, I always showed my brother and his friends. They was older. I was think I was like 14, 15. Um, actually, I just came back from Texas. So I was about 15 years old, and um, my brother was like, come chill with me down the block. and be at my homeboy crib. We in the backyard. It's nice. We're going to barbecue. I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm like, all right, fine. Mind you. We chilling. His homeboy has the OD crush on me, but everybody know my brother do not play that shit. You can have the crush on me, but you cannot talk to me. Like, <laughs> so I'm 15, and we had wait for this week for like two hours, right? And my brother had me stoked up to smoke. He was like, "Listen, you're gonna smoke." All right, you just came back from Texas. I miss you, nigga. You're gonna smoke. I'm like, all right, all right. I'm gonna get high with y'all. All right, fine. So I'm like, all right. The weed come. They telling me it's like some New England Dutch haze. I know it was haze. This what got me addicted to haze. Okay. So it smells so good. And then my cousin Koya pulled up. That's shout out to my cousin Koya. I love you, baby. So, she pulls up, we getting smacked, they taught me how to inhale, all that. I was getting so smacked. So, now it's at the point where I'm like, okay, it's time for me to go home. I get up, I sit back down. I can't get up. <laughs> like, for real, excuse me, I'm sitting on my background, sorry. I'm like, for real? I start licking my lips, like, can feel my tongue touch my lips. My cousin across from me in the backyard, like, why are you licking your lips like that? I'm like, nigga, I can't, I can't feel my lips. I'm like, and it's, it's tingling. Like, why my face is tingling? I'm starting to touch my face. I'm like, I can't feel my face. <laughs> I'm like, yo, no, no, no. All that's quiet. All that's quiet. Nah, absolutely not. That's not going down. Yo, my brother like, I think it's time for your ass to go home. I'm like, can you please pick me up, bro? Please. Please. And this is my older brother. That's like, he, he was, he's like my dad. You feel me? I'm like, please. Son, I'm trying to walk up the block. And if you know the back of farmers, I'm like holding on to people's gates as I'm walking up the block. My brother is really looking at me like, yo, you're really bugging. <laughs> I'm like, help me. <laughs> help me. Yo, he just picked me over his shoulder. He said, poop. And carried me all the way to the house. Do you know? I felt like I think, I think. I passed out as soon as he threw me on the couch in my pop's living room. Do you know they left me there for three days? Like my father didn't even nudge me to get up for school. I'm 15. He doesn't nudge me. He doesn't wake me up. Nothing. Not my stepmom, not none of her kids. Six, they like six of them. They just left me there for three days. My third, my third oldest brother, yeah, I had to count, because I got mad brothers. My third oldest brother had to come and be like, and he's like on some real goody too. He's been in the Air Force, PhD, so yeah, he's one of those goody two shoes. He came in the crib and he's like, yo, why are you sleeping like that? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I must have been here for a minute. 
He questioned me like a cop, like my mom. What's today? I'm, I'm just guessing. And when he told me what the day was, I was like, three days later? Yo, it was, I was so tight. I was so tight. I had a hair appointment and all that. I was tight. I was tight. Yup. Yup. I was in my bag. I was like, yo, never would I get high again. I lied because I can tell you all again. <laughs> I didn't care. But that right there, I don't know. I never felt any other way about weed like that. Like the tingling, the I'm not feeling my face and passing off with you. I never experienced that ever again. So was that really haze or was that shit lace? You feel me? Like, because after that, I ain't gonna, like 17, 18, I, I was driving already. I, I came back from Texas with my license. It was, it was lit. And I lived in Queens and you know how Queens, I'm from Harlem, but you know how females are in Queens. Like we don't want to walk. We want to take train. We're not doing none of that. We got either got a boyfriend, I got a car, or we got a car. Or I'm driving my daddy's car. And, yeah. So, when I had my own car, 18, oh, I was going back to my hood in Harlem. Traveling even further up the indictment. Copping them bottles of haze, like, what that? Smoking. And be able to speed, double down FDR and all that. And I never had that problem again. I still ask my brother to this day, like, do you think that shit was lazy? He's like, girl, please, that was just the first time you ever got high. No, no, I'm not going to let it go. I'm in my bag. Like, I'm deep in that Birkin bag because, well, I don't want a Birkin. I'm deep in my Celine bag because I, I don't get it. Like, but that was the first time your girl, Brooke, burned it down on the blunt. All right? Like, I, I and it was not a good experience. But I can definitely tell you, it it definitely served its purpose. I definitely got smacked. Smacked to three days later. <laughs> all right. All right. Let me stop chatting. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, comment, share. Um, until next time. Later, guys.